So now we know the final field for the 2024 Grand National. My name is Tom Scudamore, the second most unsuccessful jockey in the whole of Grand National history, which means I'm slightly more unsuccessful than Noel Feely, but slightly less unsuccessful than Richard Johnson. So now we know the thir final 34 runners. Let's go through them all one by one. The top horse, Noble Yeats, number one, a formal winner, one pound lower than when fourth in the race last year, a full 18 pound higher than when he was successful in 2022. Number two is Nar Salam, the Coral Welsh National winner. If ground becomes like it was 1998 or 2001, then he has to be considered. Number three, Coco Beach, eighth and pulled up in the last two nationals, an admirable, bold performer, thoroughly exposed. Number four is Capadano, pulled up last year, but his form has been much better this term. He still, however, has an extremely hard task. Number five, I am Maximus, the Irish national winner of last season. Not entirely straightforward at times, could really take to this unique test. Number six is Manella Rindo, a Gold Cup winner or mighty horse in his prime. I don't, however, seeing him repeating what Lascargo did. Number seven is Corrett Rambler, last year's winner. Such an imperious performance and since then has been third in this year's Gold Cup. Heart and head are in agreement. Number eight is Janadil, best known as a two and a half miler, recent form poor by his standards. Number nine is Statler, in the doldrums for the last year, hard to ignore his early promise, however, ground has to be a concern. Number 10 is Marla Mission. Off since a good second in the Coral Gold Cup at Newbury. Form in the mud, he's a player. Number 11 is Delta Work. Looks like he's been laid out for this race. However, only £3 lower than when he was third and £2 lower when he was unseated rider last year. Number 12, Foxy Jack. A cross-country winner around Cheltenham in December. If he handles the softer going, he's a lively outsider. Number 13 is Galvin, got no further than the first last year, better last time over, over hurdles but not in the form of old. Number 14 is Farouk Delen, a graded performer but has had jumping issues when last seen over fences. Number 15 is El Dorado Alan, likeable, solid performer, will be a shock winner. Number 16 is Ain't That a Shame, finished last in 2023, no reason why he should improve on that. Number 17 is Vanillier. Last year's second, his campaign this season has been geared around going one better. He's three pound higher. Number 18 is Mr. Incredible. Stamina in abundance. Saddle slipped last year, won a bigger price and five pound lower. 19, Run Wild Fred. Just eight to one when he fell at the canal in 2022. Has achieved little of note since then. Number 20, Late Night Pass, a former Fox Hunters winner, aiming to give husband and wife team of Tom and Gina Ellis a fairy tale success. Number 21, Manella Crooner. Been disappointing of late and has yet to fulfil his early potential. Number 22 is adamantly chosen. Bounced back from the doldrums when stepped up to three and a quarter miles last time. He has to improve again, however. Number 23 is Mac Totty. Saves his best for entry, sure to give a good account of himself. Number 24 is Chemical Energy. Absent since the Kerry National, but I really think he could go well. He may even be the best of Gordon Elliott's battalion. Number 25 is Limerick Lace. A Cheltenham Festival winner last time, six pounds well in. High class mare, but will she keep on galloping from the back of the second last? Number 26 is Meeting of the Waters. A very good run at Cheltenham and a big, big player. Number 27, the Goffer. Solid, consistent, but is he good enough at this elite level? Number 28 is Roy Marge. Can't see him improving on last year's fine effort. Number 29 is Glen Gooley. He has form on heavy, but he doesn't strike me as having stamina in abundance. Number 30 is Galia Delisleto. She should stay, but I don't think she has the class for this event. Number 31, Panda Boy. An interesting runner from a man who already knows how to win the Grand National back in 2006 with number six Valverde. Been well supported recently. Number 32 is Eclat de Rio. Form and heavy, but no real promise recently. Number 33 is Chambard. Beecher Chase winner will give Lucy Turner another big thrill, but in his own time. Number 34 is Kitty's Light. Last year's Scottish National winner and followed that up in the Bet365 at Sandown. However, the conditions have really gone against him. If it's not as soft as feared, then he is a player, but I'm not sure it is. So here's my prediction of the first four home in this year's Grand National. I'm afraid it's a case of my heart and head being in agreement. And I think Corrick Rambler will follow up last year's impressive performance by being another back-to-back -back Grand National winner following in the footsteps of Tiger Roll. I think Meeting of the Waters will follow him home for Willie Mullins and J.P. McManus. I think they'll also have the third in Iron Maximus. And to complete the quartet, I go for the chemical energy of Gordon Elliott.